What's going on guys? Jayhoy back with you today. Welcome back to some Call of Duty Black Ops 4. We got some rank play for you, but we're not starting off too hot, but we end up regaining and doing a lot better later on. But in this one, playing some hardpoint on the map Gridlock, so I hope you guys do enjoy that in the background. As today, we got an interesting one. So you guys probably have all heard of the Call of Duty World League are franchising this next year. And as more and more information comes out about all of this stuff, you know, all the information behind the league and, you know, what's going to happen to certain teams and certain brands and as far as tournaments go and all that stuff, it's not looking too great. And not that, you know, it's not going to be a big thing with a lot of money behind it and more money for the players and everything. Like, I'm not saying that. But in this case, you know, it's not what we wanted. We wanted, obviously, more money and everything into Call of Duty. But we didn't really want to get rid of everything we ever knew to kind of make that happen. And what I mean is, if you look at, obviously, Optic Gaming, they're in a whole big situation right now with their organization issues and you know all that stuff but um obviously you have a big name like optic gaming like that is the biggest call of duty name ever optic gaming then you have the likes of phase clan or phase then you have envious or i guess it's now team envy whatever you want to call it then you have evil geniuses you have complexity you have all of these names that are absolute staples and I mean, you just cannot, like, like they've won stuff, they've been the scene forever. And a lot of these teams wouldn't be, you know, part of it if it wasn't for Call of Duty. But then you look at, you know, they're kind of doing away with that. Unless, I believe I read this, that if your name is the only name, like, for an Optic Gaming's case, they're basically getting rid of all their teams so they can keep Optic Gaming as a Call of Duty only team. Which, you know, is good, but it's not because Optic Gaming has just kind of been dwindled down to just a Call of Duty team now. And it's not an organization, it's a Call of Duty team. Which sucks because there was so much more to the Optic Gaming name other than the Call of Duty team. There was all the content creators, you know, the guys and everything that ran Vision, all of the content, all the content creators, all of the management, all of them are part of Optic Gaming. And now everyone's leaving. And it's like, it's probably for the best, but it just sucks. But one thing that kind of triggered this video was I saw the organization Evil Geniuses. And although I'm not a fan of them, I kind of, you know, watch what they're doing a little bit. Not really too much. Like, I don't go out of my way to watch them. Um, but, you know, I do obviously see some stuff on Twitter and, and stuff on, you know, Reddit and whatever that, you know, about stuff. And uh, the first tweet that kind of went out before I actually read this article was from COD Gamespedia. The link will be down in the description below. But it says, Evil Genius is one of the most iconic names in competitive Call of Duty will not be obtaining a city-based franchise next season. And then Evil Genius, they quoted a tweet from Evil Genius that said, an update on our future in competitive Call of Duty. And then it goes, once you read the actual article, it says, with the conclusion of the Black Ops 4 competitive cycle approaching, Evil Geniuses would like to address our future in regards to competing in Call of Duty. We've enjoyed our, or enjoyed competing in Call of Duty under the Evil Geniuses name for years. Unfortunately, we won't be bringing that EG name to the forthcoming CBL Pro League 2020 season or competing under the banner of any city-based franchises. Recently, we put a lot of work defining what Evil Genius's priorities are for the future. And our main focus is very literal. We want to keep developing a strong Evil Genius's brand that is capable of supporting all of our projects. Uh, then they go on to say, obviously, they were extremely proud and honored and whatever to be, you know, a thing in so long. But, you know, it's time to kind of move on. But this isn't just the case with Evil Genius's, right? It's not. That's the same thing for Optic, Phase, Envy, all those names, right? They have to leave their brand behind to com like to be in this league, right? I like all those like five names I mentioned have all been staples in the league for so long, and now it's not going to be nearly as good. 
because they're kind of basing it off Overwatch. And Overwatch was kind of made to be a competitive game. And they went to franchising immediately to where they could do whatever they want because no, there wasn't a history in it. Right? This is what, the 13th year or whatever of Call of Duty or going to be the 13th year of Call of Duty? And now we're changing formats. We changed an engine. We've like gone through a billion different developers. Uh, now we're back to a different one. I guess now we're down to like two main ones. But now, now that we're down to two, that means there's only like um, you know, like a two-year cycle of games where they're not gonna be finished. And that's why, um, who is it? Is it Infinity Ward? I don't even remember. Whoever is making the Modern Warfare. Whoever made that, they brought in Treyarch to help finish their game. Which obviously means you guys suck. Like, if you can't make a game in that amount of time, we should honestly go to like a two-year cycle of playing the same game, but they need to release more maps, you know, changing the meta a little bit, and doing that because having or playing an unfinished game then having people you know rage about it all year long is not something we want to do so i don't know it's you know obviously nothing's really like official and confirmed but it's franchising the wrong move for call of duty like yeah like the money's gonna be there you know whatever but we're erasing 13 years of history and, you know, the, the Call of Duty World League was just starting to kind of be, like, they were just kind of, like, fine-tuning their format of how they wanted to play. And then all of a sudden, they kind of just pulled a plug on that to go to this franchising thing that we still don't know a lot of information about. And it's supposed to happen in, what, like, three, not even three months? Or something like that? Like, less than three months? So... I don't know. Let, I, this is where I would love to hear you guys' comments. You know, is franchising the wrong move? Are you guys super nervous like I am? I mean, going forward, you're going to have, you know, teams like the Houston Outlaws or the LA Valiant or the New York Elite or the New York Tigers or whatever their names are. We're going to have it like that. Is that really what we wanted? Like, we wanted more money, bigger sponsorships, you know, more eyes, but... We've been doing it fine all along. And I guess this doesn't even... I haven't even mentioned the tournaments yet. So, similar to Overwatch, they basically have a regular season, then they have a playoffs, and that's it. Which is, like, nice. That's what traditional sports are. But Call of Duty is one of, like, the only esports that come out and run these open tournaments that allow Cinderella stories, and it's not just the same, like, four teams winning the entire year. Right? So, what's going to happen with all these open tournaments? Are they just going to go away? Or, you know, are we going to have tournaments but under a different kind of name? Like, we're changing all of what made Call of Duty the best possible thing to go into this thing called franchising. So, do we want it? I guess maybe part of it, but for the most part, it's not looking good so far. But anyway, guys, like I said, I want to hear you guys' comments down below. Uh, let's have a little chat down there about Call of Duty franchising. And uh, if you guys did enjoy, hit the like button down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And as always, guys, we'll see you next time.